Mm. There's something about that very first sip of pumpkin spice that just makes you want to go, girl, it's fall. Hello? Hello? It's fall. <laughs> swans it's me megan welcome back to my channel i'm so excited to see you guys again for this year's swantober um it's not october yet but um it will be I feel like there's been so much hype this year about fall and you guys know i love fall yeah here we are and we're gonna have a lot of fun in this vlog i'm actually right in the middle of my makeup I'm just going to finish that with you guys real quick. We're going to chit chat. We're going to have lots of fun today. You guys will be seeing my two friends, um, Dion and Anela. Very, very sweet, beautiful girls that I've been wanting you guys to meet for some time now. Um, today we are doing the viral tea around town. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of this before or seen it on social media, but it is a traveling double-decker high tea event and it's really cute it's this very blush pink floral bus and they play live music so they have mocktails and high tea treats so lots of girlies are getting very dressed up for this event and i have been wanting to go for some time so it's been in new york actually for a while and i just wasn't able to go because of everything i'm doing i just wasn't able to travel to new york at the time but now it's in dc which is my area because i live in the dc maryland virginia area it's here so i got invited and i can bring three guests with me it's gonna be a lot of fun i'm so happy to be chit chatting with you guys again so much has happened and i think i'm going to do a little bit of a chit chat with you guys later on in this video to talk about my brand new job because of course you know i still work a nine to five i'm actually doing work um as a pharmacy technician now so that's like a whole story time all by itself which i'm excited to share with you i don't know if it's going to be in this video but i will touch on it a little bit um just to update you guys if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button to become a part of the Swandell family. And also leave me a comment and let me know some of the things that you're doing to get ready for fall. I'm very excited. I hope that you are too. And I also hope that you're having a beautiful day. <music> my makeup for this lovely fall day and I like it. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera but I've been really into this little extra dollette um, vibe thing to my eyes that I really like but I've really been feeling it and I think this look came out cute. Now we're gonna figure out what I'm going to wear kind of like sweater weather um that you would wear in the morning or in the evening as it gets cooler with the changing temperatures so this is what i'm wearing now it's just this this cute little lace tank top with this very pretty bow that i think is adorable this is just like my running errands outfit i do have on this pink coquette um sweater i actually got this from romwe and I actually got two of them. So I got this one and another one in Cinderella blue, which is very pretty. But I'm thinking I kind of want to keep the vibe of this sweater with the outfit that I'm wearing for the high tee. So this dress right here is what I'm thinking about wearing. It's this really cute coquette dress with bows and it has like a little corset in the front very very pretty and I, and I think that it'll go really cute with the sweater that i'm wearing um it's gonna be like 6 30 so it's gonna be a little bit cooler then so i do want to have a jacket but i think that this is going to fit the theme very nicely and i wanted to wear something that would match the bus so it obviously has to be pink <laughs> Here's also what the nails are looking like. I love the bows and the pearls. I'm also gonna show you guys the rest of these. They're from AliExpress. There's this girl at work. She always comes to work with her nails just absolutely adorable. And I asked her once like, where do you get your nails? She's like, oh, I get them from AliExpress. 
I am actually very surprised at how durable these have been. I've had these on for about three weeks now. It's going on four weeks and I have not had one pop off. They've been very durable. So these are the other ones I got. This one right here is, was actually an accident. I don't think I was paying attention to which selection I picked for this one. And these remind me actually of Jack Skellington and I love Jack Skellington. But I don't know if I would wear these nails per se. I just thought that was funny. Again, very surprised at the durability of these. And on top of it all, I'm only using the Kiss nail glue, like the one that you would get out of the drugstore, like a CVS or something. I'm only using Kiss nail glue to hold these on. Like, I don't know if it just works better with these nails, however these are made, but these have been lasting a good while and I'm happy about that. Well, I almost forgot to spritz my perfume today of this viral TikTok fragrance. Um, I think it's an Arabian perfume and it's called Chaco Musk. So it's like this very sweet vanilla um, chocolate latte smell. And you guys know how much I love vanilla. Um, TikTok shop has had me absolutely obsessed. The only thing I will say about this is that it doesn't last super long. So I usually like to put on like an oil or um, spritz it on top of like a shea butter. And it usually ends up lasting um, pretty long after I do that. But just in general, this has been my go-to lately, especially for the fall season. You can see how much of it I have used already. But yeah, this is the vibe that, we're, that I'm feeling today. It's very light, it's very sweet, and I love scents like that. Okay, this is my favorite part where I get to spritz it. I like to spray it in my hair, just like that. It smells so good. And a little bit on my outfit. Okay. Now I think we're ready to start the errands that I have ready before today gets crazy busy. Also, um, I decided to change the lip for this makeup look to a matte blush look just because I'm a little indecisive and I feel like the blush look kind of goes better with this instead of the like the deep tone of fall at the moment. I feel like this, this just works a little better. <laughs> I've also made some slight changes to the salon cottage. I've been really excited about decorating this place a little bit more. Um, I actually have some brand new decorations and items on the way that should be arriving like sometime next week. So that will be another video, but I will get to use those new decorations in this space just in time for the fall season. So I am very excited about that. But um, I just want to show you for those of you who are really into furniture and home decor, shabby chic and a coquette um, style, let me show you some of the pieces and ideas that I have set up. Okay, so this one right here is something that I recently thrifted. Um, it was an amazing find. I only got it for, it was about $14, um, which was huge, but I've always wanted to have a shelf like this that Kind of just emulates a farmhouse kind of um, style which is really really cute and as you can see i already kind of put my um fall decorations up so i have my um polka dot fall pumpkins sitting right next to these glittery candles um i don't have any candles inside them yet though i also have another pumpkin with a little bit of lace around that i thrifted like a couple years ago I have a little tea light candle that's sitting right next to it. I have another pumpkin decoration that was actually gray and I spray painted this a pastel pink color which came out beautifully so I've been in love with it ever since. I also added this beautiful little um, lace bow to the top and there's just a glass little knob which makes it very classy, very demure. <laughs> but then inside, I just have this pumpkin spice candle that I've had for a couple of years now. So um, hopefully this year we will be getting some new festive candles. This is 
is how everything is looking so far. I am really pleased with it. It's really cozy and I still have my boutique. So if you're wondering what all this stuff is over here, this is for the online vintage um, shop that I have. And then on the other side, here are more items over here. I kind of like to keep them in the space because um, it's easier for me to manage them and keep them organized. So that's where they are for right now. But yeah, this is the space, everyone. Also, the Yule Log. I am in love with them. I'm using Yule Logs a lot more lately because they are so soothing and I just think they're very festive. And this one that I'm playing right now just has some jazz playing in the background. So I'm going to get into more of a festive mood by using these wax melts. Um, this one that I have is called Chai Spice, which is different from Pumpkin Spice, um, but it smells absolutely amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into my little wax melt diffuser. This is a previous one that I had already melted. I forgot I lit this like a few days ago. This is the Chai Spice and the vanilla flavor. First, we have to light our little tea candle and do that. And isn't it so cool that this is right next to the fireplace on the TV screen? Cute. Drop that in there. Okay. And put this right on top. And then we will slide that to the side and we're gonna let that sit there and marinate. Okay guys, so we are here with Dion and Anela. Oh my goodness, you guys say hey. Hi. <laughs> Three, look at that. Look at the, the bows and the hair. Let me get a close up on the bows. Oh my gosh! Look at the bow on the dress and let's do a 360 spin. Beautiful. That is so cute. Perfect for high tea. It's giving flower girl Bridgerton. <laughs> love it. So look at Nay. Oh my goodness. I love the headpiece. <laughs> and oh my gosh, let's get a close up on the pearl purse. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Oh, it's from Shein. Okay, beautiful. And let's do a 360. And the dress. And the dress? Wow. She made her earrings to get a close up on that. That's so it. pretty. Hello, so basically we're here now. We arrived like a little early. The pass says arrival time is 6.15, but we're here at like 5.30, 5.45. And there's like three buses. So we're just trying to figure out which one it is that we're going to get on. Uh, so that's gonna be fun to figure out. So while we're here, we're just kind of taking photos, hanging out, being cute, and yeah. <laughs> yes. Hi. Hi. I'm the Bridget girl. So beautiful. My name is Shola. Look nice at her outfit. Shola. Very Bridgerton. Very beautiful. Look at that. I'm so oh, sharp. Let's do a little spin. A little spin. Beautiful. Hi. That's so cute. So lovely. And then we were, oh my gosh. And I'm the rich auntie. Oh, the rich auntie. We love that. That's so beautiful. Oh, too. Very Bridgerton. Oh, that's. Oh, the boss lady of the group. Oh, the boss lady of the group. We love that. That's so cute. I'm Katie. I'm the diva. Oh, the diva of the group. Look at that. I'm Sooks. I'm the baby girl of the group. Oh, the girl of the group. Beautiful. Oh, oh. I'm a friend of the designer. My name is Oh, beautiful. Little 360. Love that. Oh, I love you. I'm the baby of the Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that. Gorgeous. Hi, my name is Ross. I'm the sweet auntie. Oh, the sweet auntie. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. She's taking us to a magical place. Whoa. I'm the one. She's the one. Rich auntie. Oh, rich auntie, okay. one and only. Oh my gosh. You are welcome. Beautiful. You are welcome. Oh my goodness. 
I'm the DJ of the group. This is Frida. Oh my gosh, yes. And a 360 of the outfit. Beautiful. Gorgeous. It was finally time for us to board the bus and once we did we were very pleased with all of the beautiful florals and pastel decorations the theme for this high tea was called autumn elegance which is perfect for the season i have to say this was quite a cozy little atmosphere it did get a little chilly on the bus so i'm so glad i bought my pink sweater with me there were beautiful garden party pastries ready for us at our tables which was very sweet i fell in love with the beautiful little mocktail that they gave us so cute they did serve us different flavors of tea about every 10 to 15 minutes which was really nice so we got to try different flavors of tea in our beautiful signature tea around town cups it's definitely a really nice idea for a girly date we got to enjoy the view around dc while we chatted and giggled to each other which was a very much needed and relaxing girly date indeed we got to take some pastries home as well as our tumbler teacup and afterwards we decided to grab a bite at the hard rock cafe which was really fun overall it was a really nice date with the girlies and i can't wait to do something like this again okay guys so it's like a few days later because that's how busy life is but i really just still wanted to finish this video and close it out properly but also those fall decorations that I told you guys about towards the beginning actually got here quicker than expected. I thought I was going to receive them next week or like later this week, but they're actually here. So um, I ordered some things from Shein. Um, this was a gifted collab, of course, but I wanted to show you guys some of these cute little items. My girly fall decorations that I'm excited about. Um, some of these aren't fall themed but they're just a couple of girly finds that I wanted to show you. This is a popular one that I've been seeing recently. Shabby chic makeup bags that are so cute. I got them in a bundle of like small, medium, and large. They're so pretty, they're so soft. I can't wait to put my makeup inside of them. And I think it was for a pretty good price too. I'm gonna leave it on the screen for these items because they are very much worth it. The next thing I got is this very simple fall themed table runner um i have a white lace table runner on the coffee table in front of me right now so i'm thinking of switching it with this i think it'll be really cute they also had one in like a pastel um cinderella blue and then they also had another one in like pink i wanted to get all three but i was like you know what i'm gonna grab something that's a little bit more neutral and that i can switch out with like many different colors and different pastels. The next thing I have is an autumn themed apron. Super cute. I wanna start making a lot more baking vlogs and just content that involves more of the kitchen. I really wanted something that was going to inspire me to do so. Next one that I got is a little tray. I always think it's so funny when we order things from these online shops and then it ends up being smaller than what we expected. I still think it's really cute. I'll use it as like a jewelry holder or something. It reminds me of like this Facebook post that I saw one time. I think this lady ordered like a huge um, living room couch set from like Temu or something. And then when she got it, it was actually like very small. I think it was either Barbie doll sized or um, small enough for like a toddler to like sit on. But this next find that I have is so cute. Honestly, I thought these bags were gonna be slightly bigger, but they're still cute because they are these pretty pink Hello Kitty trash bags for your bathroom. So it makes sense that they would be like this small because usually you may have like a small little pail um, in your powder room. I thought these came out really cute. I'm gonna try it and see if it actually fits in the pail and the little trash can that I have. I think that this should work, you know? And so the next thing that I actually got you guys is what I'm sitting on right now, not the couch, um, which we're planning on switching that out soon. This beautiful Victorian cover for it. Now I don't have one for the back just yet. I only got some for the armrest and for the three seat. 
So I'm gonna show you guys how that looks right now. And I think this has to be my most favorite selection from Shein so far. So let me just show you that. I was not expecting these couch cover pieces to be so quality, but they are. And I especially love how detailed they are in design. So perfect. I think it does a really good job of drawing all the colors in my living space together. It even inspired me to add this little piece to my bodice for the season. You guys, I am so tired. I have had a very long weekend. Um, and then I go right back to work tomorrow for Monday, starting at 9 a.m. to 4. <laughs> but I also realized I haven't had my first pumpkin spice drink for the season. So I went out today to Dunkin' to grab a simple hot pumpkin spice latte. Like even right now, I just have like a little bit of a headache and it's just like, what is going on? I wanted to quickly chat with you guys about um, the update I have. I get a lot of you women telling me like, hey, I'm in the same boat. I'm also working a nine to five, um, but we're in this together and we're gonna do this. And it's just, it's so sweet, it's so cute. I love the support for the girlies who are um, managing their um, personal endeavors. And it's definitely a journey. And just know that I'm supporting you guys too. So the job that I actually have now is in retail pharmacy. And my plan with that is to learn as much as I can there just by being a tech and then switch to a hospital pharmacy, which is completely different from retail. Um, retail is just a starting point and the reason that I went into it is because I did not like the job that I had before. I was just a barista at a local cafe in my area and it was just not it. Um, actually, it was the second job I've ever had in my entire life. The very first job that I had before that when I was at Chick-fil-A, I stepped away to pursue like my entrepreneurial goals, which was really awesome and went very well, which is what I'm still doing right now, obviously. And then I reached a point where I just had to gain a little bit more of income while I'm pursuing these endeavors. Uh, I decided to jump back into the work field and I took the very first job that came to me, which just happened to be um, it was actually Panera Bread. Um, still love their food. It's nice, <laughs> but um, definitely not the place for me to work. The food industry as a whole is just um, not for me, but at the time, realty, I, I needed a job. Now, is it something that I want to do for the rest of my life? Probably not. But as far as having a good, stable job that's making a little bit more than I was when I was at uh, a cafe, it's perfect. And then it's a job that I actually don't have a problem with. I do like it. If you're going to work someplace that you know you're not going to stay very long, that's just kind of aiding you financially and helping to support um, where you're going in life, um, it's always best like for it to be a job that you actually kind of halfway like. It just makes it more exciting to go to every day. Work is always going to be stressful, especially when you're dealing with people, like if you're in customer service or something. You know, I always see it like you have to kind of choose your stresses of which one you'd rather deal with. Even working for yourself, so many stresses and difficulties come with that. If you're going to have a nine to five, like why not have one that aids your growth on your personal endeavors? At the pharmacy, it is actually quite therapeutic for me. I'm still very new to the game, still like newbie level, but I have learned a whole lot. I've been there for about a year and some change now, and it has been quite the experience. Totally different from any job that I've ever had, <laughs> which has only been in the food industry previously. It's something that I do like. It's something that I don't mind keeping um, by my side while I continue on the entrepreneurial path until I become a lot more established in the dreams and the goals that I'm pursuing. My favorite part probably has to be um, working in production. And you know, if you aren't familiar with any of these terms, production is where you go and you pull the prescriptions from the uh, shelves, you bring it back to the production area, you scan the items, you count the medication out and you actually pour it into the vials or you pour it into the bottles if it's liquid medication and you bag the prescriptions and then you go and file them in a bin that's ready to be picked up by the patient. For any of you that are into anything in the medical field at all, 
um, or in pharmacy tech specifically, definitely leave a comment and let me know um, if this is something that you've been thinking about, if this is something that you're already doing. If you want to hear more about my experience with that, that definitely has to be a separate video because there's so much to talk about regarding that. But yeah, I'm here and retail pharmacy for now. A clinic or a hospital is where I would be aiming for next. Um, as long as I continue to get the proper knowledge and certifications to do that. Before I close out this vlog though, um, I got some pumpkin spice ice cream that I've been waiting specifically for this vlog to open it and snack on it with you guys. <laughs> I also just currently turned on one of my favorite um, fall themed movies, which is The Nightmare Before Christmas. It's also one of my favorite holiday movies around Christmas time. And then while I'm watching that, I'm going to snack on my ice cream. I have this pumpkin here that I'm also going to kind of DIY. I know you guys have seen those really pretty pumpkins with the pearls just kind of glued into the grooves. Well, I'm going to do that same thing except with this lace and tool. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to show you guys how this little pumpkin turns out. Okay lovelies, so this is what it looks like. Not anything too crazy. I just wanted a little bit of lace to be on there. I wanted to make it as shabby as I possibly could. I think this gets the job done and it's cute. I like it. Um, if you're wondering what happened here, the button broke. And it's one of my favorite dresses from uh, Miss Candy Holic. But the button broke, so what I did was I added a little bow and I tied the two sides together to create that because I, I absolutely love this dress and then I had no idea where that little pearl button went but I feel like this makes it cuter. We're happy. It's a win-win. I'm now gonna like take some time to wind down and prepare for the work week that I have ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off all of my makeup. I'm gonna chill out, try to get some rest before tomorrow. I hope that you're having an amazing fall season already. By the time this video goes up, it's already gonna be a few days past fall officially, but still not October yet. We don't care because it's Swantober anyway. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. Leave me a comment down below, letting me know how you're celebrating the fall season. And don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the Swandell family with us. I'm so excited to have you here. Please remember that you are capable, you are loved, and you are always royalty. Once again, happy fall and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!